Hey y'all, Iron Sky here. Now I know I've been talking about creating the ultimate field video rig, so I don't have to take, right now I'm filming this video in the studio on my Canon XA10, but what I wanted to create is the ultimate pick up and go field video rig <laughs> for travel. Now what you're seeing right here, it may look like I've got a rocket launcher on my shoulder, but what it is, this is a very affordable and very customizable solution for a DSLR camera. Now what I have, and I'm going to talk about all the, uh, the technical specs, but this is called the Mantis. And you can find this and, and all of these other items within the link within this video's description. I've got more photos and videos and, and all that goodness. But what I want to do in this video is just demonstrate how this works. So when you're traveling, all of this will fold up. I've got it maximized right now for when I'm out in the field. So basically all you do is got some thumb screws. You position it like you want to. There are certain pieces where you have to use a hex key here, here. So hex key there, there, and, uh, and also here. So three spots with hex key, hand screw, hand screw, hand screw, hand screw, hand screw. And you can tweak it however you want to. This can be shorter, this can be longer. I kind of like it like this because it's, it's far away from the body, yet I've got that hook over my shoulder. So it gives you that good stability. Uh, now when I'm filming with the, um, with the DSLR now, this right here is my really awesome lens. It's the Rokinon 35 millimeter, which is a cinema lens. So it's manual focus. Uh, so what I want to do when I'm running and gunning, uh, basically running and gunning, that just means, you know, you're out on the beach or somewhere and you're walking around and shooting video while you're walking around. There may be some sun, so I've got my, my viewfinder on the side. What I have for that is a sunshade, and I'm getting that out now, a sunshade that will enable me to, to do away with any sun shining on that that would prevent me from being able to see what I'm filming. So this right here is the sunshade. So when I pop that out to the side, I can then put my sunshade on. Because when you're, when you're running and gunning with video, you don't want, uh, you don't want to, unless you've got a really fancy viewfinder that goes way up to your eye, Probably not going to want to do that. And for me, I like to have LCD so I can see what's going on around me too. I don't want to be running around with a with a camcorder in my face and fall in the water and and destroy my investment. But see what I've got here now. You can see I've just attached the uh, sun hood for the for the Canon EOS T3i video display. So now when I take the lens cover off, I'm able to see within that what I'm filming. And I can use, this is a 100% manual focus lens so I can quietly reach up and focus as I move around. I looked at some other rigs that had follow focus. Um, and you know what, you notice right there, see I wasn't keeping it fully extended because I had to focus. So what I'm gonna do to optimize this, is I'm going to shorten this. That's the good thing about this, is how highly adjustable it is. That's about right, right there. Still long enough to provide stability, but it's, it's short enough to where, when I reach up to turn this to manually focus, that I can do that. And I looked at some rigs that had uh, what was called a follow, follow focus, but some of those got to be really expensive. Now, hey, that's that's where I come in. I'm all about maximizing the quality of the video on a budget. So that's why I got the Mantis. Sure, I don't have a follow focus mounted, but I can customize this to where I can easily reach up with one hand and focus. It's not a it's not a challenging act. And obviously when you move around, you're going to have to refocus on stuff. 
by just the clarity of this lens, this Rokinon lens is just absolutely amazing. What I also like about this Mantis is that I like to have my neck strap for my camera just in case, you know, in case it tries to fall off my head, uh, fall off my neck or something. So with the Mantis, unlike some other video rigs where it would hinder the, uh, the video's performance, I can leave that dangling down here. And it's not going to get in the way of my frame or anything like that. So it's, it's just a really cool mount. Now a lot of people rig this, this same mount up to where it's kind of a carry over, put your hand over the top type scenario, which is perfectly fine. I like it like this because I, like I feel like I'm holding a really big video camera. And that's what's so cool about this. This is a, from a DSLR perspective, the Canon T3i is pretty much what many would consider to be an entry-level DSLR camera from a cost perspective. But what's great about it is that you can get that entry-level DSLR Hold on. In case you're wondering, yes I do have a UV filter on there that functions as a as a lens protector, but <laughs> yeah, but the and see I could even make it shorter like this if I wanted to. I could stick that in and just make it to where I hold it here. Which you know realistically that may even be more optimal. Let's try it out. See these are the thumb screws. Like I was saying with this mantis mount, by some of them those those other three they require the hex key, but that's not a problem. Now see, this may even be better because I can, I'm closer to the viewfinder and I'm closer to the, uh, to the focus. Yeah, this right here for me is probably optimal setup. And just walking around and looking at what I'm filming in the, in the display, I can tell it's very smooth. That's the thing with the DSLR camera that you're just holding in your hand. Unless you're, I mean, if you're using a tripod, that's going to be silky smooth. But if you want to get that, uh, be able to walk around with it, like I was saying, to do the run and gun video, it's really nice to have, uh, really nice to have something like this Mantis. There's more expensive mounts out there. There's, everybody's got their own personal preference. But what I think is great is getting this. Canon T3i, as I'd mentioned previously, entry level from a price perspective. Getting the Canon T3i, getting a quality but budget cinema lens, which is this Roki 935 millimeter. Comparable lenses to this one that are the big name brands would they would cost thousands of dollars. You can check the link within this video's description. This one, when I got it, was just a few hundred bucks. Still expensive, don't get me wrong, but you, you know, if you want to have that pro quality look to your video, it's things like that that matter. Likewise, the audio, if you're not just adding a soundtrack to it, these Rode video mics, exceptional audio for your, um, for your DSLR camera. And it's just, it's small, it doesn't stick out past the lens as you can see, but it captures some really incredible broadcast quality audio. So this is where I'm gonna be using, actually I've got, uh, you've probably seen my videos, I do, I shoot a lot in the Virgin Islands, Cayman, Bermuda, and actually I'm probably going to, uh, I've got to decide where I want to take this, but probably take this to Bermuda and just get some really cool video there because that's a, if you've never been to Bermuda, it's just a really, really good island. It's safe and you can ride around on the moped and that's the good thing about this. You can check out my other video where I, where I illustrate uh, how I'm putting this all in a backpack, my DSLR and all the lenses, putting it in a backpack for transport on a moped, etc. So that's, that's just really cool. And I mean, I can't wait to test this out.
And that, that's the that's the thrill of this camera and video equipment is that the equipment itself is not going to do anything. It takes a user that number one is willing to fail because not everybody is a video and or photography expert. It takes someone that's willing to fail, someone that's willing to put a little bit of money in it with the possibility that by putting the money in that that it that it may not ever uh, be used more than a few hours. I'm going to use this stuff extensively. I'm not worried about that. And that's one of the main reasons I got, beside, aside from the uh, exceptional visual quality, that's one of the main reasons I broke down and got the Rokinon for this camera. And that's one of the main reasons I didn't go with a, with a more expensive Canon EOS, or EOS, however you pronounce it, camera, because I wanted to save that extra money to get the accessories, to turn that entry-level DSLR camera into a high-quality, you know, right up there, close to a professional quality rig on the budget. So just to, to recap, added a Rode video mic, added the Rokinon 35mm cinema lens, added the sun hood for the, uh, for the display, and then the Mantis. And obviously I won't always use the Mantis, but when I am using the Mantis, it'll be it'll be a really silky, silky video while I'm panning around and capturing those shots. From a versatility perspective, I'm gonna have a lot more fun in the field with this than I did Max A10. And I love Max A10. I'm coming at you right now from the X A10 with a Rode video mic on it. Exceptional prosumer camcorder but I love the customization options with the Canon EOS, how I can put all these different lenses on it. And I mean, this is gonna take it to the next level because I, like I like to learn by trial and error. It's either gonna work or it's not gonna work, or maybe it partially works, who knows? Every, every situation is different. I've got the tools now to where I can experiment. And I've got the vehicle to share my experiments with you, the viewers, the subscribers. So I'm gonna have hundreds of videos, thousands of videos coming from this new equipment. So I'm glad I got it. And any advice you wanna share with me, I appreciate it because again, I'm not an expert. I do this stuff to challenge myself and to become proficient with different tools. And that's, this is my next tool in the, in the sandbox right here. The uh, uh, the Canon EOS Rebel T3i and this Rokinon Manual Focus Cinema Lens. So, I mean, it's going to be a fun ride. And I hope it's not just a fun ride for myself. I hope it's a fun ride for my viewers, too, because that's why I do this. I do it to educate not only myself, but I do it to entertain and potentially educate others and to gather knowledge from you, my viewers. Maybe there's something silly I do when I'm using a camera and you're like, man, you shouldn't do it that way. You know, here's how you do it. I appreciate that kind of feedback because I'm learning. I'm not an expert, but I will become an expert and that's my goal. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, youtube.com forward slash iRicksGuy and be on the lookout for some really, really cool, I'm talking cinematic quality videos coming at you from around the world. And be sure to subscribe, youtube.com forward slash iRix. Y'all have a good day. Almost dropped my camera. <laughs>